Step back, all of you! Like hells we will! We know who you've got in there! We're not leaving till you hand her over! Bring her out! Bring her out! What's going on? Someone let slip about Fedola. It's true then. The bitch really is in there. I knew it. I bloody knew it. We demand vengeance! Bring her out! Today we butcher the butcher! But the... Come on, you don't mean that! We'd be no better than the Imperials if you'd all just calm down! Calm down! That monster and her thrice damned skulls dragged my man from our home and beat him to death in the street! Aye! And my dad! That bitch has spilt enough blood to fill a lock! We all know her crimes. She's a traitor and a murderer. How many of your resistance friends have died at her hands, eh? And here you are, protecting her! So that's what all the fuss is about. Hearken to me, brothers and sisters of Alamigo. Hey, who's this? That... That's the Bull of Alamigo. My friends, you are not alone in your anger, your grief, your despair, for it is mine as well. That gnawing pain in your breast, it is enough to bring an old bull to his knees. But I ask you, brothers and sisters, to think not only of the family and friends who were cut down before your very eyes, but to think also of the ones who were abducted, the ones who may yet live. Where were they taken? What became of them? These questions demand answers. I share your thirst for justice, for vengeance. But we will gain only fleeting satisfaction if we give in to our base appetites. We will never know the truth. Now is the time that we, the people of Alamigo, must decide what manner of nation we will build for ourselves and for generations yet unborn. When they look to our example, will they see a people who held fast to their principles? or one who cast them aside when tried. I say to you, it is our responsibility to give these prisoners a fair trial that they might answer to all of Alamigo. The Galleons called us savages, and I'll be damned if we prove them right. I know you're right, I do, but I can't.
so many visitors. Come to have a good laugh, have you? Or do you mean to put me out of my misery? To finish what you started? It's about bloody time. That's not why we're here, no. Do you remember what I said? How I promised you you'd live long enough to see us win our freedom? Well, I meant it. And not to mock you, either. You're wasting your time. All of this is pointless! There's no reason to keep me alive, and you know it! I killed your men. I killed my men. And you know what my only regret is? That I didn't kill you when I had the chance! That's a lie, and you know it. You think we can't tell what you're trying to do? That we're blind? Yeah, you're a fool, but you're not stupid. You're ruthless. Relentless. You'd give up anything and everything to get what you want. You didn't come this far, climbing over the bodies of your own brothers and sisters just to piss it all away. I see you, Fedora. I see you for what you are. Dola, we mustn't be late. The Imperial Viceroy will be attending today's banquet. All right! Father, what's slot guy is like? Is he nice? Are you friends? There you go again with all your questions. Lord Gaius is a great and honourable man who looks after all of Alamigo. He's very busy, and if we don't hurry, we'll miss our chance to see him. Filthy tinhead lovers. The little tin head lover doesn't know what she is, eh? A traitor, sweetheart. A backstabbing bitch who gladly betray her kith and kin to gnaw on what few scraps the Imperials deign to toss her. Like your bastard father and whore mother. That's not true! My parents are good people! They've never done anything like that! Oh, but they were quick to help themselves and their bitch spawn, weren't they? You're just as guilty as them. Fadola! Traitors! Please! You have to do something! My husband and daughter are in danger! Soldiers of the Imperial Army are under no obligation to intervene in the disputes of arms. We're citizens! We have rights! It's all right. It's all right. 
They don't understand, but they'll see in time. They'll see that this is the only way to survive. Traitors! Traitors! Savages have their fun. They'll be more compliant once they've tied themselves out. Dola, please! You already have citizenship! Why would you want to become a soldier? Oh, gods! What have you done to your face? Forgotten it already, have you? I'm honoring Father's memory. By telling the world that you know better than a common savage. Am I though, Mother? Are any of us? Can't you see? Citizenship means nothing to them. If you're not a pure blood guardian, you're no different from any other savage. So I'll play the part. I'll join the Legion, and I'll make them respect me. And when the mob see that, they'll think twice before throwing their stones. Ansfrid, Rudolf, Emlyn. It's time. It'll be hard. Humiliating. They'll try to break us. Send us crawling back to our own kind. But we won't. No matter what. We'll bleed for them, die for them if we have to. We'll do whatever it takes to be free! So, you mean to play the part one last time, eh? The unrepentant traitor whose death will serve to unite the people? Shut up. You had every chance to kill yourself. Fashion a noose from your clothes. Wait for the guards to leave you alone long enough to slip it over your neck. I said shut up! But then it would have all been for nothing, wouldn't it? Whatever it takes. That's what you said. Been in my head, have you? Had a little peek at my past. And what? A few stolen memories tell you everything you need to know, do they? Don't you dare patronize me! You don't know a god's damned thing about the life I've led! The bastards that killed him. The bastards that let it happen. My father deserved better! I swore I'd do whatever it took to make them pay!
for anyone. The things they've done to you, the lies, the betrayal, the endless fighting. Yet there you stand, unbroken. How? Why? Damn you. Damn you all. You still have time, Fordola. Think about how you want to spend it. Let's go.
thank you for answering my summons in these most interesting times. You have been busy. The liberation of Alamigo will have far-reaching consequences, and there is a matter upon which I would seek your counsel. I speak of Rauban and his future. All know the tale of his rise from penniless refugee to member of the Syndicate and General of the Immortal Flames. Yet though he has come to call Uldar home, it will never be his homeland. He is a son of Alamigo. And now that she is free, I thought it only a matter of time before he sought my leave to return to her. Indeed, I had resigned myself to his loss. Suffice it to say, I was greatly surprised to hear him speak so lightly of handing over the reins in Alamigo and retaking his place at my side. I will welcome him with open arms, of course. He is my most trusted advisor and my dearest friend. But I have known the man a long time, and beneath that steely gaze, I spied a flicker of doubt. Whether Rauban chooses to remain in Uldar or return to Alamigo, I only wish that he do so with a heart unburdened by guilt or regret. Yet, how can he freely make such a choice, knowing how much I depend on him? It is past time that I learned to discharge my duties as a Sultana alone. I must go forth and see my realm with my own eyes, and hear the wind with my own ears. Might I have your company for a brief adventure? Wonderful! Allow me a moment to change into something a touch less conspicuous, and I will join you outside.
It seems you're the one who needs looking after, Master Shaw. <laughs> Grab on! Your grace. I have kept the promise made. So you have. And in turn, so too shall I keep mine. With your winnings, you have become one of the six most wealthy souls in all Ulda. And so, as tradition dictates, Raub and Aldin, you have earned yourself a seat on the Syndicate. May your new station garner you still greater glories. I am honored, your grace, and vow to serve with every fiber of my being from this day to my last. Long live the Sultana, and long live Uldar!